Welcome back. I don't know if other chess YouTubers ever record an hour-long video and then look at it and realize it's not worth posting, but I did that yesterday. And what I was doing was analyzing a game, a daily game that I finished on chess.com a few days ago, and I was trying, as I always do, to learn something from that game. But that video ended like this. And for one of my longest videos in weeks, I'm really frustrated right now that I don't think I learned anything from this analysis. Not one thing. And it took an hour to make that video. So I'm not going to put that video up here, but I am going to look at that game again. And today I promise I'm just going to go to the spots at which the game review says I made a mistake. During the game, I thought it was pretty even most of the way. Even at the end, when it was pretty clear that I probably had an advantage, I wasn't sure that I could win the game. You can see the graph here, which shows that we were even for some time. Then my opponent, who was playing with the white pieces, had an advantage. And then as we're getting close to the end game, there's a cliff. And then I had the advantage the rest of the way. But that's not what it felt like during the game. Let's switch over there now. When the game started, my opponent was rated about 100 points higher than me. And their profile shows that they're rated a lot higher than me in rapid blitz and puzzles. But I managed to pull this one out. We opened with the Karakon defense. My opponent played in a way that I have seen before. I took the pawn, they took back. We did this little dance here with the knight and the bishop. All of this I have played before, I have seen before, and I've analyzed before, so there's no reason to go through it again. Here, my opponent didn't play what I expected. I thought they were going to shoot the h-pawn forward, which means I have to play my h-pawn forward, although I can't remember ever if I'm supposed to go to h5 or h6. That way I have a place to hide my bishop. A lot of times my opponents play c3 here. Also, I have seen bishop to f4. My opponent just played bishop to e2, which looks like an, was an attempt to kind of play small, like not attacking me, just defending their own stuff, which is perfectly fine, apparently. I played one of my best moves. Their best move was to castle. My best move was to get this knight out. And I don't think I've ever been in this exact position before. Uh, if so, if I have, I, I don't remember. Although I would have expected a c-pawn move here. My opponent again made a slightly smaller c-pawn move than I expected. I thought they were going to go to c4. And even though they've made no attempt to attack this bishop, uh, Stockfish says I should play h6 here. Or get this knight out to f6 or e7. I moved my queen over here to line it up with the bishop. I it's, The engine says that was okay too. I was thinking about maybe taking this knight, which is only defended by pawns and either way it would apparently mess up their pawn structure. It was a few more moves before the first mistake of the game. We are, looks like neither one of us are ready to quite fully engage yet. We're kind of getting everything into position until that move. My next move was my first mistake. I'm trying to figure out why. Now I already know what it was. I'll just tell you in case you can't see it on the move list because it's so tiny. I did take the knight. That's what I had. That's one of the reasons I had moved my queen over here in the first place. Uh, obviously I knew that they were threatening this pawn. I considered taking it. I'm pretty sure that the reason that I didn't, now it's been a few days because daily games often take a little while. If I'm not mistaken, this one took a couple of weeks. I thought that they would take back with their bishop protected by this pawn and they would be pointing at my king through this knight because my c-pawn wouldn't be there anymore if I took their b-pawn. Then, yeah, I could castle and I guess that knight is protected a couple of different ways so it wouldn't have mattered that much. But that's why I didn't take the pawn. And I thought if they took mine, I can take back with the queen and that pawn's not defended either. So I'm not sure why bishop capturing on g3 was considered a mistake. We went from even to not very far from even, so I'm not sure why it counted out as a mistake. It's 0 0.4, 0 0.3 something. What other moves were there besides taking this pawn? Castling? Okay, I should have just gone ahead and castled. Or played c5, pushing past. But then, wouldn't they have taken here? I, I guess I could have taken that with my queen too. It says they wouldn't have taken had I played c5. Okay, I've looked at this for a couple of minutes. There's a long pause that got edited out, but the, I guess the only reason that I can think of that this wasn't one of my better moves um, is because it's trading, well, not only trading a bishop for a knight, which in general is not considered great, despite them being roughly equal in material count, but also I think this is because this is my good bishop. I have these pawns all on light squares, more pawns on light squares than not, especially my center pawns, and so I shouldn't give up my dark squared bishop, which is patrolling the dark squares. That's the only thing that I can think of that I could learn from on that move, but my opponent didn't take back in the way that the game review wanted. However, it looks like capturing back with the h-pawn and the f-pawn is roughly equal, according to Stockfish here, so I'm not sure why that was counted as inaccurate by the game review. The evaluation is about the same as it was before. Now here my best move is to castle, but I moved my c-pawn to c5, which was counted as a mistake. Backing up. Okay, the move before it was one of my two best moves, one of those two c-pawn moves. 
And now it's my second best move, and it's not that much worse than castling. So yeah, I'm not sure why that was counted as a mistake either. We're still at 0.6, which is really normal for Carol Khan games that I have played. Still, we're between minus one and plus one. I'm not sure why that was a mistake. Again, I thought if they took back, I could take with either my knight or my queen, and that pawn's undefended. This says here, whether I castled or played c5, which was my second best move, they're going to play bishop to c4, which points at my queen. Okay. And either way, I would play queen to c8. Oh no, that one changed. Okay. I've gone backward and forward a couple of times, and now c5 has gotten a little bit worse. But either way, okay, yeah, either way, I would go to c8 afterwards. Okay, again, I've looked at that for a couple of minutes. I can't figure out why that is a mistake. My opponent did play bishop to f4, which obviously threatens my queen. It is slightly better to go to c8, which is what I did. I wanted to keep eyes on that pawn because if they took, I would take back. That would be a check and I would be attacking their other pawn. I guess my opponent saw that, which is why they played their next move, which was there. Uh, it puts an extra attacker on that pawn. I guess, is what that does. Also, it prevents me from castling, which the engine said I should have done a few moves ago, but that's inaccurate. It's inaccurate because I can play knight to e4, and that here, that there is a fairly big difference between those two, knight to e4 or knight to d5. What would knight d5 have done? I picked knight to e4 because not only does it aim at this bishop, but it helps defend that pawn, and it aims at that undefended pawn. So to me, that one seemed pretty clear especially once that bishop got in the middle. I, I wasn't sure what to do about that bishop, but it counted as a great move for me to do that. Okay, let's go on to my next mistake, my opponent's best move, and that was my next mistake. Okay, that came really quickly. I should have taken the c5, wait, I did. Oh, I should have taken the c5 pawn with this knight. Why is there a difference? Oh, wait, this isn't listed at all. This is not one of the moves. Okay, my first, or should I say my best move according to the engine is to take their c pawn with my d knight, my second best move is to take their bishop with my e knight. But if I did that, looky here. It says that they wouldn't. It says if I took the bishop, they would take with the pawn. But I don't know. They might take with the queen to, to kind of get something like this. And then what would I do? So yeah, I wasn't considering that because I don't have anything else defending that square. I wanted to get rid of this pawn. And then, of course, they would be protected there and I would be okay, I thought. Plus, I could always go back. Because still, nothing is attacking that square. And the knight is defended there. My third best move is to take the pawn with the pawn, and then they would play rook to a3. Well, yeah, because see, I, I'm not going for that right now. I'm going for that eventually. But I've got, I've got to get rid of this stuff here before I worry about that pawn. This is too close for comfort, so I have no idea. I, no, I can't figure out why those moves are better, so that was a mistake. But now my opponent has plus two if they will play knight to, to g5, and one and a half if they play that move, so... As I said, I intended to put the knight back after I took that pawn, so I did. I am now still aiming at the bishop, still aiming at this pawn. My opponent should have played knight to c6 here, but they messed up. What would knight to c6 have done? It would have gotten out of the way of the queen defending the bishop, so I couldn't take it. Okay. Or bishop to b4. But you know what? I'm not here to analyze my opponent's mistakes. They went all the way back, which seemed like an okay move to me, except that it gives up this pawn. I think that's why bishop to b4 would have been better, because it would have defended that pawn. And of course, coming in here, while their bishop was still down here, would not have defended that pawn. But they would have still had a bishop here, and they would have had a knight there. Was I supposed to take the knight if, if they played here? Knight to c6? No. It's as if they did that, I would play knight d to c5. So my knights would be protecting each other? I don't know about that. Okay, well, I do see why that is not great, because it gives up the C pawn. Okay, and I don't know if I should try to evaluate the next move or not, because it says it was inaccurate, but but I played my top move. Knight captures C3 as my top move. Uh, the game review thought that was inaccurate, but it, it was my top move. Okay, so I don't need to worry about that one. Stockfish can't agree on whether it was good or not. My opponent played one of their better moves. And here I blundered. My only blunder of the game... My opponent and I each only had one blunder. Apparently theirs was worse than mine or came at a worse time than mine. What I should have done is take this bishop with check. They would have taken back. And I would have been up a pawn. And when they took back, I would play knight to c5. Well, I, I, I remember considering this. And I thought, you know what? I could give up the knight for the bishop. Or I could take a pawn for free and then go back. And then give up the knight for the bishop. But taking that pawn was a blunder. It gives my opponent a plus two and a plus three. Nope. Back to two and a half or four, depending on which stockfish you trust. There are two different versions of stockfish running here. But only if my opponent plays bishop to f3, 
which they did. That, that aims at my rook. Well, so they found a way to solve the problem of me coming back and hitting here. But but again, that way I, I exchanged three points of material for three points of material. This way, I still have my three points of material. And I went up a pawn, so I'm up two pawns. But because of this, uh, they can get those two points back. Let's go to the point of my next mistake. My best move. One of my opponent's best moves. My best move. 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 There, there was nowhere else to go on that back rank from here. Knight guards that. I uh, didn't want to go to c8 because of the fork. Didn't want to go here because of the knight. So basically e8 was the only place. My opponent made a mistake here. Should I try to evaluate this one? Since they should have come down into d6. I don't know why. Or they should have checked anyway because, because the rook is guarding it. That would have forced me to the corner. Or rook to e7. e7's here. Okay, I guess I could have seen that. In that case, I suppose I would have had to have gone back to the corner or here because then the knight wouldn't be able to fork me anymore. Okay, they didn't play any of those. They went here. I don't know what that was supposed to do except maybe maybe they were thinking of something down this way. I don't know what they were thinking. I, I don't know why they thought that was a good move, but I also don't know why it was such a big mistake. We're at even now, but only... If I play bishop to d3, and I had a miss here, my only miss of the game. My opponent didn't have any misses, but I did right here. I could have attacked this pawn and this rook at the same time, and they couldn't have defended the pawn. It says they would have played rook to f4. I, I don't know that they would have. I'm not sure where they would have put it. Maybe f3 aiming at my bishop, but then I would have taken the pawn. Basically, wherever they would have put it, I would have taken the pawn. And if they didn't put it anywhere, I would have taken the rook. Maybe that's, okay, maybe that's why that's a mistake, because it undefends this square, so they should have been looking. What can I do on my next turn, and on my next turn I can fork here? I was thinking more about this check, and, and these kind of pieces doing this, so uh, maybe hide a, a hidey hole for my bishop. But I thought, what happens if we do a bunch of trading with rooks and queens over there in the corner, and my king needs a place to go? So I played h6, but it was my second best move. But it wasn't good enough. I don't know why that's so bad. I, I do see why this is good. But again, I didn't see that during the game. I was more concerned with their attack on me. So I should have looked at my checklist, I guess. Okay. But again, I don't know why that's bad. I could have picked up a pawn. But I don't know that I... It says it still would have been even had I done that. Now my opponent checked. Like they should have done on the previous turn. But now, look at the difference between king to h7 and king to h8. That's plus four. But since I just moved that pawn, Stockfish didn't want me to move the pawn. But because I did, I get away with a plus one here. Okay, so I don't feel so bad about h6 on the previous turn because I wouldn't have had that option just now if I hadn't have played h6. So I can put my king on h7. This was one of their better moves. The engine thinks it would have been better to take with my king, but it's not that much worse to take with my pawn. And now I feel like my king is relatively safe as long as I don't abandon all of this defense over here. This is one of my opponent's better moves. My only move. This was a mistake, takes us very close back to even, but only if I make a queen move, queen to f6, I guess which continues defending all of this, or queen to d6, which defends this and this and this, or queen to d8, which defends one of those pawns, but also attacks the rook. Did I play one of those? I did. All right. Where's my next mistake? Wait, was have I made all my mistakes already? And we're close to even now, so my opponent's blunder must be coming up. That was pretty good. Okay, I think I remember where I started thinking I had a chance here. Um, I did look for checks here, and I found one. I found another one down there. And I wondered if maybe they hadn't been too slow about attacking my king, and I thought there might be a chance of perpetual check here. Because yes, they could block with the rook if I checked there, but they could also block with the rook if I checked on the back rank. But either way, I could come back and check in the other place. So I thought maybe they would just keep blocking with their rook, or I thought they might block with their queen. And in which case I could check and then they would block with their queen and then I could come back and they would block with their queen. So I was kind of thinking about a perpetual. Again, my opponent was high rated. I thought a draw would be great. So I did play that, which was good. They only have one move that maintains their very slight advantage. The other move gives me a very slight advantage. But the game review counted that second move as a blunder because that's what they played. Okay. Yeah, that's a little bit worse than the previous line said it would be. Okay, now it's, yeah, now it's not as good. It was, it was 0 0.9, but now it's 1 point something. Okay, the reason that they blocked with the rook is bad is because, now remember on the previous turn I had thought about a perpetual here. They would block with the rook, I would come back. That's not listed as one of my top moves. But here, I remember the advice that Gotham Chess gave me. 
put pressure on the pinned piece. That piece is pinned. I can put a knight here or here, and that those are my two best moves. It looks like there's not a difference between them, so this is good. I don't know why I chose that one over the other one. Oh yeah, I do, because this way still allows me to check on the back rank. That's why I chose this one. Okay. But the rook can't move, so they're about to lose their rook for the knight. I don't know why that gives me a huge advantage. They did that. Is that all the mistakes in this game? Okay, well, this was much faster than the video that I made yesterday. I don't think I learned anything from it, but I will just take you through the rest of the game. If you've made it this far, you deserve to know. I think what this was was in an attempt to distract me so that they would save the rook. But I took the rook with my queen, which looks like it was my best move. Okay, I did that because now they have to take with their queen or get mated if they, if they move their king out of check. That's checkmate, right? So they took with their queen and I took with my knight and they took with their king. I didn't know I was ahead here. It's minus 1.5, not minus four like the game review thought. I have a passed pawn and my opponent doesn't, but I don't know that that makes me ahead. Look how close their king is to that and look where my king is. The engine says I have a bunch of moves that don't make any, basically it's two moves to protecting that pawn. I thought about this. I, I didn't think about coming around behind, but that's three moves, but it doesn't matter. The move that I played is just as good because they bring their king. I come out here and now they can't get to my pawn. They did try to get to my pawn. Oh, and it also says it doesn't really matter what move I make here. King to f6 or king to f7. I thought I wanted to stay close. I thought if I went to f7, they would get closer to my pawn. And then what would I do? So I went here. Now they can't get close to my pawn. My king guards these squares. My pawn guards these squares. That pawn guards those squares. So all these squares are cut off from their king. Well, that one too, right? Their, their king has a little L-shaped box around it, a force field. It can't come in there. But they have three other pieces they can move. Well, two that they can move right now. So they did this. I did this. Still minus one point something. Wait, that was... That wasn't listed as a mistake, but that changed the event. Wait, okay, I backed up and now it's not minus one point something. What if I back up again? It's not minus one point, it's minus four. What if I back up again? Wow, okay. So you can see that Stockfish Light is having trouble if you go forward, 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 and it's like minus 1.9, minus 1.8, minus 1.9, but then eventually it jumps to minus 4, and then when you back up, it remembers that stuff and realizes that it's not minus 1.9. Okay, that's interesting. I did not know that I was ahead. I was trying to count whether or not I could stop their pawns over here on the H and G files before I would have to back up, and then they would come get this pawn. And we would have a draw. So they did that. E5 was my best move. Ooh, I don't know about that. Or king to f7. Again, that would have allowed them to get in front of my pawn. It says that they wouldn't, but I know that they would. Obviously, I don't know what my opponent wanted, but every opponent I've ever played in this situation, not that I've ever done this that I can remember, but I'm pretty sure they would just get right there. And then I can't come back in here. I could move over, but then what? But anyway, I, I played there. It still says minus four. I thought if they took, I'll take. And if they don't take, I guess I could go forward. And then if they push that, then I've got a passed pawn over there too. But they pushed that. So again, e5 is my best move. h4 is not listed, but that's what I played because that, that's what I said I was thinking about. I did that. It's still minus four. They took it and I took it. Their best move is g5. And they did that and I took. Well, see, now here I didn't mind. If I thought if they got closer to this pawn, I'm going to move over and push this pawn forward. I, I'm going to have a passed pawn. And I was pretty sure I could get one of them down before they could get, well, because they have to go two squares here, three squares there, then get out of the way, and then three squares to promotion. What's that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I thought in that time, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Thought I'm going to promote first, right? So that's what happened. We did this. I went down there. And, uh, oh, by the way, it said I didn't have to take that pawn. I skipped over that part. I remember it said I could have just gotten in front of it. Okay, I've promoted. So why didn't I think I was ahead? Stockfish says I have a mating sequence. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to play out this position against a bot. Not in this video. I'll do that in a future video because I don't know that I could win this. I checked. My opponent moved. I checked. I was trying to zigzag closer. I zigzagged. They, they got the pawn forward. Well, that's a problem, isn't it? Um, I went over here and checked. And I was starting to be starting to worry that there would be some sort of draw. So I got closer and closer, as close as I could. I moved to the dark squares. They went there. I checked. Does it look like my computer's slowing down? It feels like it's slowing down. They went there. I brought my king. And the reason I stopped to bring my king here is because I know they can't promote while their king's in front of it. But then they got out. So I checked. It says I have a mate in 10. They went here. My best move is to... Let's go here. Well, I, I found that. That's what I played. But, but again, they're... They're going to go back to defend their pawn, right? So I played that, and my opponent resigned. But I'm curious. Can I win this? I think my opponent being rated as high as they were in, in Bullet, Blitz, whatever, I, I, 
rapid. I think they should have played this out. I might have lost it or drawn it. I don't think I would have lost it. It says their best move is to promote right now and let me take it. But why wouldn't they move here? How bad would that be? What if they moved here? It, it says I would check on C6. Okay. I would. And then they would get in front of their pawn, would they not? They would. Oh, oh, now I can bring my king again, right? Is E6 okay? That's probably what I would do. All right. Oh, now they can't stay in front of their pawn and they can't come out over here. They only have two legal moves. I assume they would go to A7 because that gets out of the way of the promotion. But then what? Now do I check them again? It says I can or just drop down here, which freezes that pawn. That's actually slightly better. I think that's what I would have played, but I don't know. Now they could come back here or up. That's the only two choices. Up is a little bit better. Now, oh, now I can get in front of the pawn. Wait, if that's not one of my better moves. If I got to this situation, which obviously we're like so many moves beyond what they what actually happened, I think I would get in front of that pawn. Is that good? Okay, I still, because now they come, I come. They have to move away and then I take the pawn and then I don't have to worry about it anymore. Okay, maybe I could have won this. I don't know. It's a daily game. I had plenty of time. It's not like I would have been rushing. Well, once again, I don't think I learned anything here. But it was a much shorter video, and I didn't waste a bunch of your time. Well, not as much as I would have if I'd put out the 50-minute video. If any of you know why any of those moves were blunders or mistakes, why they were better than the moves that we actually played, let me know. Because I didn't, again, now it's been an hour and a half <laughs> total. I, don't, I didn't get anything from this game other than I know what my next video is going to be. I'm going to back up here and try to win this position against a bot. Yeah, maybe about right there. I think I'll take a position like that and play against a bot. All right. Thank you for spending your time here. Hopefully you can help me out and I'll see you next time.